Hi, I'm Daryl Linthwaite. It's good to see you. And we're singing about what all the animals do when winter comes. If you're ever in the forest, in the forest, the forest, if you're ever in the forest, you'll see lots of trees, tall trees and short trees, and winter trees with no leaves. If you're ever in the forest, you'll see lots of trees. If you're ever in the forest, the forest, the forest, if you're ever in the forest, when winter time comes, the snow will start falling and dancing and twirling. If you're ever in the forest, when winter time comes, brings us to our first story today and it's called Winter Dance and it's by Marion Dane Bauer. A single snowflake floats through the air, spins, leaps, settles on the nose of a fine red fox. Winter is coming, says the fox. What should I do? I can tell you what to do, says a caterpillar. Wait, wait, wait to turn into a shiny chrysalis. Then you can wake to a butterfly spring. And the caterpillar crawls away to do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I don't like waiting. I can tell you what to do, a turtle calls. Tip your tail to the sky and swim down, down, down to bury yourself in the slick, cool mud. And the turtle does just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. Mud is much too muddy. Let me tell you what to do, whispers a bat. Zig and zag and swoop into a cave. Then hang by your toes and go to sleep. And the bat does just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. My toes would get tired. Plop, an acorn drops from a tree. I can tell you what to do, chatters a squirrel. Gather, 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 then quick, quick, hide everything away. And he scampers off to do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I don't even like acorns. We'll tell you what to do, geese honk from the sky. Flap your wings and fly away to warm days and silky soft nights. And going, going, gone, the geese do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I belong here in the forest. A snowshoe hare hops by in his new winter coat. I can tell you what to do, he says. Turn yourself white to match the snow. And the snowshoe hare, who has done just that, disappears into the whitening world. That won't do for me, says the fox. I love my red fur. I can tell you exactly what to do, says a great black bear. Curl beneath the roots of a toppled balsam tree and tuck all your growls away. And the great black bear does just that. That won't do for me at all, says the fox. I'm not a bit sleepy. Hush, the wind sighs. Hush. The fox lies down on the forest floor and puts his nose between his paws. The sun slides down the blue bowl of the sky. Hush, the wind says again. The fox hushes. 
more snowflakes land on his nose. And then a whistle. Soft, soft. A white tipped tail, golden eyes. I can tell you what to do, says a fine red fox bowing low. When a million snowflakes fill the air, twirling, tumbling, spinning, waltzing, you and I join them. Of course, says the fox standing tall, because that's what we find red foxes do in winter, dance. try to give Fox their best advice for spending the winter. But we know that not all the animals stay outside when winter comes dancing in the snow. Here's my squirrel with eyes so bright hunting for acorns with all of his might. When winter comes with its cold and storm, he'll sleep curled up all snug and warm. Squirrel twitched his twitchy tail on a chilly winter day. He could feel the north wind blowing as he scurried off to say. He said, hurry squirrels, hurry, we must all get fat and furry, not a moment to be Squirrels, hurry, we must all get fat and furry. Not a moment to be lost. Here comes old Jack Frost. Well, once Squirrel has all his acorns stored up for the winter, he can take a long winter's nap. That's a special word. It's called hibernating. Can you say that word with me? Hibernating. A squirrel hibernates in the winter. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Little squirrel, little squirrel, time for hibernation. What is your location? In a tree as cozy as can be. The geese in our story were busy flying south for the winter. You can see them high overhead lined up in the shape of a V as they flap their wings and honk away. The nights are so long, they shorten the day. Over the meadow, the skies turn to gray. The geese all fly southward as homeward they go. I'm sitting here waiting and waiting for snow. Waiting for snow the first of the year. I just can't believe it almost is here. Like babies and birthdays and places to go. Nothing takes longer than waiting for snow. Other birds fly south for the winter too. I have my friend Yellowbird right over here. She's a songbird 
and she's not going to stay where it's too cold in the winter time. She's headed south following the geese and all the birds that like to migrate. Songbird twitched her feathery tail on the chilly winter day. She could feel the north wind blowing, telling her to fly away. Hurry, hurry, birds all hurry. We must fly off in a flurry. Not a moment to be slow. I hear that cold wind blow. Hurry, birds all hurry. We must fly off in a flurry. Not a moment to be slow. I can feel that cold wind blow. Some birds stay with us throughout the winter. I have a red bird over here. Maybe it's a robin. He's going to stay all winter long. He'll have to find food for himself. He'll have to find a place to be cozy at night so he can sleep. The north wind will blow and we will have snow. And what will the robin do then? Poor thing. He'll sit in the barn and keep himself warm and hide his head under his wing. Poor thing. Sometimes people like to feed the birds. They feel sorry for them, especially when there's snow on the ground and they can't find little seeds and grass and things to eat. Um, so what I've done in the past, I've had a bird feeder. Maybe you have a bird feeder in your yard. And one year I made little bird seed cookies to hang outside using bird seed and gelatin and cookie cutters as molds. And you can find directions on how to do these online if you look up bird seed cookies. And you can hang them from tree branches and the birds will be very happy for their winter cookies. They'll come and eat all the seeds off. What kind of a bird do I have here? It's an owl. Do you know what sound an owl makes? He goes, whoo, whoo. Can you hoo like an owl? Hoo. Here's a wide-eyed owl with a pointed nose, two little ears, and claws for toes. He lives high up in the tree, and when he looks at you, he flaps his wings, and what does he say? Hoo, hoo. Well, we can do that rhyme again. We'll put Snowy Owl right over here. Can you show me your eyes? Here's a wide-eyed owl with a pointy nose, two little ears, and claws for toes. He lives high up in the tree, and when he looks at you, he flaps his wings, and he says, Hoo! The owls are always asking a question. The owls are flying. I hear them all sighing through the snow-covered branches as they hurry on home. With my feet on a limb and my eyes sad and lonely, I sing who tree as fluffy and as puffy as little owls can be, blinking and winking with big round eyes at the big round moon that hangs up in the skies. As I walked beneath, I heard one owl say, 
There'll be mousies for supper. There will, today. And all the owls hooted. Tweet, tweet, hoo. Mousies for supper. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh-oh, little mouse. Are you hiding from the owls? I think I saw that little mouse somewhere. Oh, Mousy, oh, oh, here he is. Can you see him? He's hiding inside a pumpkin. Are you hiding from the owls? Let's, let's help you go in there. There you go. Don't let the owls see you. You want to be safe all winter long. Are you hiding? Are you hiding? Do you remember what the bat did in our story? The bat flies high and flaps his wings. He eats mosquitoes and bugs, and he hangs upside down in his cave underground, and he sleeps so cozy and snug. That's where our bat goes for the winter. He'll hang just by his little toes. You don't sleep upside down like a bat, do you? No, that would be silly to do. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Little bat, little bat. Time for hibernation. What is your location? In a cave is where I'm at. I have a turtle over here. Turtles like to go down, down in the bottom of the pond and bury themselves in the muddy bottom and sleep all winter long. Here is my turtle. He lives in a shell. He likes his home very well. He keeps his head out when he wants to eat and he pokes his head in when he wants to sleep. Can you do that rhyme with me? Let's pretend that our fist is the shell of the turtle and your thumb, can you wiggle your thumb? That's the turtle's head. Here is my turtle. He lives in a shell. He likes his home very well. He pokes his head out when he wants to eat and he puts his head in. Can you put your thumb inside your fist when he wants to sleep. And I think now that winter's coming, the turtles want to take a little nap and hibernate all winter long. Where are the turtles when the north winds blow? We cannot see them in the ice and snow. Deep, deep down in the mud they lie. Turtles sleeping with tight closed eyes. We saw the turtles hibernate for the winter, and we saw another animal that does something altogether different. We saw a white bunny called a snowshoe hare. Hare is a fancy word for bunny or rabbit. The snowshoe hare is only this color. He's only white in the winter. The rest of the year, in spring and summer and fall, this rabbit is brown to match the forest floor. In winter, he turns white to match the snow. He's awake all winter long, but he likes to hop quickly away and hide under bushes, especially when a fox is coming by. Rabbit twitched his cotton ball tail as he hopped along his way. He could feel the north wind blowing as the sky turned dark and gray. He said, hurry hairs, hurry we must all turn white and furry. Not a moment to delay when winter comes our way. Moment to be.
even the smallest creatures need to have a plan for the winter. The first creature the fox saw in our story was a caterpillar. Here's my finger as a caterpillar. And that caterpillar was called a woolly bear caterpillar. Does the woolly bear caterpillar stay awake like a snowshoe hare? No, caterpillars like to hibernate. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Little caterpillar, little caterpillar, time for hibernation. What is your location in the bark of a tree? As cozy as can be. Woolly bear caterpillars can curl up by tree roots or in piles of autumn leaves that have fallen on the forest floor. These caterpillars can even hibernate all winter long frozen in an ice cube in the ice on the ground. When the snow and ice melt in the spring, the caterpillars wake up and they start to look for food. They like crunching on fresh spring leaves. Where are the caterpillars when the north winds blow? We cannot see them in the ice and snow. They curl up tight under leaves or logs. Caterpillars sleeping in forest or bogs. When the warm spring sun comes out, caterpillars wake and crawl about. Oh, how happy they will be. The springtime world they will see. And speaking of woolly bears, here's a great black bear who hibernates in hollow logs just the way our woolly bear caterpillar did. Only woolly bear caterpillars are very small, while great black bears are very fierce and big. Can you growl like a bear? <sighs> bears also like to hibernate in their lair in a cave. There he goes. Have a good sleep, little bear. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see, to see what he could see, to see what he could see. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. He found a cave to sleep in, he found a cave to sleep in, he found a cave to sleep in to wait until the spring. To wait until the spring, to wait until the spring. He found a cave to sleep in, to wait until the spring. Can you make a fist with your hand? That's going to be the cave. And this time, our thumb is going to be the bear. Can you wiggle your thumb? Here is the cave. Now open up your cave and let your bear go in. Inside is the bear. Now he comes out boop, to get fresh air. Shake out your hand. Let's try that again. Here is the cave. Inside is the bear. Now he comes out boop, to get fresh air. But he sees that winter is coming and he knows no fresh air for the winter. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Woolly bear, woolly bear. Snow is gently falling, snow is gently falling everywhere, everywhere. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Little bear, little bear. Time for hibernation. What is your location in a cave in my land? Snow covers his cave like a fluffy white rug. Inside the bear sleeps all cozy and snug. And our other story today is called When Winter Comes and it's by Nancy Van Lan, and it goes like this. Where 
wonder, oh, where do the leaves all go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? The leaves go tumble, tumbling down. Snow is their blanket, their bed is the ground. Where, oh, where do the flowers go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Their petals wilt, but their seeds burrow down to rest underneath the leaves' golden crown. Where, oh, where do the caterpillars go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Inside their cocoons, so tightly wound, waiting for spring to bring green to the ground. Where, oh, where do the songbirds go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? South they fly, warm weather bound, to bask in the sun on the soft, mossy ground. Where, oh, where do the field mice go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Field mice tunnel under the ground and rest in a nest of thistle down. Where, oh, where do the dappled deer go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Dappled deer wander, making no sound. They rest closely knit under trees in the mound. Where, oh, where do the fish all go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Deep under they swim when the pond's ice bound. In the dark, they quietly circle round. Where, oh, where does our little one go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? In a warm, warm bed when winter comes round, listening to the wind with its gusting sound, watching the snow as it falls to the ground, snuggling deep, fast asleep. Touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, clap hands now. Teddy bear, teddy bear, take a bow. Teddy bear, teddy bear, pat your head. Teddy bear, teddy bear, time for bed. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, wave bye-bye. Sweet dreams, Teddy Bear. What will you be dreaming about tonight? Dreaming of sledding, dreaming of fun, piled high around me, bright mountains of sun. Dreaming of snowballs, of shouting, and laughter and sliding down hillsides with hot chocolate after. Waiting for snow, the first of the year, I just can't believe 
it almost is here like babies and birthdays and places to go nothing takes longer than waiting for snow waiting for snow waiting for you to bundle me up like you always do your glove and my mitten together we'll go to make footprints and angels in our brand new snow waiting for snow the first of the year i just can't believe it's finally here like babies and birthdays and places to go nothing takes longer than waiting for snow the nights are so long they shorten the day over the meadow the skies turn to gray the geese all fly southward as homeward they go i'm sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting Happy winter, everybody. Have a safe holiday. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.